Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'll be playing Alan Wake 2. This is 13 years after the original that released in 2010. I should take a look at that map. And this is a game that's been uh, highly anticipated by a lot of people who played the original. So playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 using the LSS quality, which we all know is base resolution 2560 by 1440 reconstructed up to 4K. I'm also using the LSS frame generation, motion blur and film grain I've disabled, just a personal choice for me. And as you can see, everything else is maxed out where possible. All of the normal lighting effects are grayed out because path tracing is enabled for those who are wondering. And I'll show you that setting under the ray tracing editing here. You can see the LSS ray, ray reconstruction is also enabled. And you have path trace in direct lighting at high and transparency at high so that is the in-game settings um of course this is a remedy game and they're using their in-house north light engine and uh, it looks absolutely fantastic um from what i've seen uh, this game um looks really really good so they've done a great job okay let's grab the map I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I could go take a look. Hey, over here. So you play as detective um, or FBI agent Anderson Saga. Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Those damn bits gonna show up, Mulligan? Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Man, his partner's clueless. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell him about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, but well, you know, inside. Okay. He's doing his best smart guy kind of impersonation bless him were there any witnesses yeah a couple out of towners i wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night not that we have anything against city folk cried thornton but don't worry sheriff breaker took him back to town a while ago okay let's go and look at the body i want to see the body how do we get there Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell him I'm here, Winky. I'll show him around. They got it, Thornton. <laughs> His partner sounds a little bit, a little bit slow. But, um, Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Okay, so you can access the case board inside the mine place. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Okay, so this is how she, so she makes sense of all the clues that she finds. Okay, let's have a look at the case board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. The case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Okay. Well, this is obviously going to be useful. 
have a look at what goals. I basically got to do this. It's like a tutorial, so I can't actually move freely until I follow the instructions. So in order to find out more about the killer's profile, I need to speak to people. So you get more clues, I guess. Uh, get to the crime scene and meet Deputy Thornton at the general store. That's basically what I got to do. Okay. Get out of here. Don't want to waste too much time. Already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. There's too much sky. You see some realistic woods. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Let's talk a little bit about performance. Getting over 70 frames per second pretty There's consistently. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. She's pretty cheeky, isn't she? But always nice to have banter with your co-workers. Um, VRAM usage is pretty high, but generally that's always the case with path tracing games or games that utilize path tracing or ray tracing. But the R9 Fraction under k is pretty dormant, not doing much. However, I'm using um, frame generation that kind of does alleviate some of the, the load of the CPU, so it's understandable. Barely doing over 10% at times. But yeah, I love the visuals. It looks really, really good. And the voice acting so far is uh, top tier, but that's remedy do actually get in some proper actors. Not a so. bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing, I'm not surprised. Damn! Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Okay, general store is this way. Uh, this is the first order of business to check the body out and see what clues we can find. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. At least he likes doing his job, he's very, very enthusiastic. Oh. FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover ups. Those are real? You guys hiring? Thornton, he's joking. Let's just see this body, shall we? <laughs> Man, these partners. This is why you get like FBI, they come into these small towns and they are real condescending towards the local enforcement. This is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? So you got genitals and that all out in the open, so a lot of this is going to be censored, guys. Step just one. examine to the corpse. Just to follow YouTube rules. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Okay. So, oh, I've got some clues now. And you can kind of start a new subsection. Just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Consistent with previous murders. 
when the key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Okay. Objectives are viewable at the case board in your goal section. And collect clues from the body to progress the investigation. Let's have a look at his arm. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. There's a heart. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Yeah, pretty gruesome way to go. Is that everything? Okay, so we've got to go to the case board and put all of these clues to use. Now, where would we put this? The major chest trauma. I guess you got to kind of make a storyboard of it. Heart found near the victim's body and cargo straps used to restrain the victim. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. The clues have resolved an opening question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Okay, you can check the updated goals by pressing control. So, we now need to learn more about the victim and learn more about the killer. Okay, let's do that. So, find some evidence and talk to someone that should get me what I need. Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Okay, so he's known to us. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I... Ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Okay, so what happened? He's been missing since 2010. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Okay, there's some more evidence around here. Let's have a look. I'm starting to get in the beers in. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Like a tripod. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Okay, we have more evidence. So we know about the victim now. Um, let's have a look at my clues. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Okay, still don't know anything about the killers, so need to find some more information. Was he killed here, or brought here after? For display. What is this? Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Possibly. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. Well, having a look around, you don't necessarily have to stay 
on the rails, you can kind of clear off the main path. I'm going to go check something out. Be right back. Got it. I had to review the clues. Yeah, let's see if there's anything around here. So you basically got to think like a detective, try to analyze everything. And possibly look for signs of potential witnesses or suspects. What is this? Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. It says confused, follow these steps, wash your hands, take the chicken out the fridge, take a nap. Kind of padlock with these symbols. I wonder what that even means. Okay, let's have a look around. A creepy twig sculpture? Yeah, it's giving me real... These are almost like... um, What was that film that came out? I can't remember what it's named now. Um, no, when it comes back to me, I'll let you know. But that was one of the creepy, one of those creepy things that you saw in the woods. Blair Witch Project. That's that's what I was trying to think of. You remind me of a dream I had. You can use to activate. Okay, so what do I use to activate her her light? Press E. Okay. So yeah, Blair Witch Project. There was all these weird things hung up. You can see all these signs on the wall. He did say, wash your hands. And imagine you do that at a sink. We'll look around. That might be the first symbol. And then it says, take the chicken out of the fridge. So that will be the second symbol. And it says, take a nap. There's a sleeping bag and there's a mattress here. So that would be this sign. Or that sign, one out of two. So... Let's try, see if we can open this place up, this little case. So we'll just double check the signs again. So that, that, and that. Okay, see if this works. Okay, so that was the first symbol. The second one was, I think they were both going each, into each other, up and down. Yeah, and then the last hey, one was. Hey, let's get back to work over here, can we? I think they were going away from each other. Okay, I got to double check. That clearly wasn't right. Okay, now it's open. Some more bullets, some medical supplies, and there's a sign. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. What is one of the trees? Some kind of cult thing. Anyway, let's get back to our partner and get out of here. At least I found something. The game plays relatively smooth. But this might be a not so demanding area because it's quite dark here. But there isn't too much light sources. So see what happens when we go into a town amongst more NPCs. Maybe there's something I need to do on the case board before I can proceed. So what do we know about the killers? There's more than one of them. Indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. There's evidence they premeditated it as well. The tripod and seems like they were waiting. Okay, okay. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. 
Why here? Why now? So now we gotta focus on where the victim came from. Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. But this is like another way of how she thinks to to progress in her case. So missing person. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Okay, what about the ritual murder? Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Like the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. At somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Okay. So now we know where the victim came from. Let's go to the lake, I guess. No more clues. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. You do that. The faces are so highly detailed when you're in that kind of detective uh, mode. When you're doing the case stuff. This one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction, from the lake. Probably looking for shelter, safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. And that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Yeah, it is huge. The creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even, even if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting, hurting them. Yeah, that's Someone's a major clue. Us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. 
I should profile Nightingale about this page. Okay. Do some more profiling. This mug always cheers me up. Okay. Let's talk about the page. We found the page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. He must dig out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Okay. So they believe there's something left behind or in the body. Alright, let's get back out of here. You are stuck and unsure how to proceed. Don't forget to check the mine place. No problem. So we just gotta check the body now for something that could be left behind. Stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Guess I got more clues that I can use on the victim. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. What else do we know? The victim was one of their own FBI special agent Robert Nightingale, gone missing here 13 years ago. Yeah, it's stuff we already know. Must be missing something. We'll just check if I've done everything on the case board. I think there is one more who I can use. See, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Okay. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. That was nice of you. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls. And talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Still quite a bit this of tutorials. Like a nice so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod? For a camera? To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. <laughs> I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. Where does this take us? Pretty sure this is the main path. There are so many 
alternative options, but I usually end up in the same place. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Yeah, I'm intrigued as well so far. By Alina Town. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Okay. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. So we're back to this original time from the first game. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> don't know, <laughs> don't care. <laughs> I know must be doing good if they can afford advertising for such a small place. You can hardly hardly miss it. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Oh, is that guy from Quantum Break? It's like remedy like to retain the same actors if they can. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Okay. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no. The bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Okay. Just going to speak to these bookers. I can't believe that happened. I still feel like I'm going to be sick. Come on, Ed. Have some pie. Don't take your mind off things. And you Americans love your pie, don't you? It's big ass cherry pie. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Oh, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Okay, so why were you at the lake? What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. Okay, you tell me about what you saw. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. So these guys are like witnesses to the actual murder. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. 
Was she hiding? She tried hush man when he was about to say something. They found something. Okay, let's have a look at what we've learned from them. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Annie. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. What about a cauldron lake? The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Pass the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with the murder. They were telling the truth. Okay. Let's confront them about the necklace. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing, Tammy. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing you. But... Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter? That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. That was weird. Did this really happen? Is she really suppressing some trauma that happened in her life? Anyway. We done with the bookers yet? A cult murdering a man is pretty extreme. Why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies they didn't listen. And they wanted to throw Ed and I in jail for that murder. You know, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. This is my case now, and no one is throwing you in jail. If you need anything else, just come to me. Got it. Thank you. Hey. Okay, I've got everything I need. Get out of here. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? <laughs> I played some D&D back in the day. The wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. That's what it must be like to live in a small town. Everyone just knows each other. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. 
Well, I'd say someone telling me my daughter drowned is pretty personal, Sheriff. I have to say, though, the game performs well for the, the amount of ray tracing that's being used. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. See you around. At least they're real polite. You know how these federal types are. They usually come into these small towns and kind of just real condescending. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Okay, let's have a look at the body. We suspect there's something inside that we need to pull out of him. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Feels like an interactive movie at times. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. What other clues can the body give me? This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Oh, well, we've got plenty of clues to go through. Let's get them up there. Tattoo the heart. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Yep, yeah, let's go and have a look. page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them. Made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant. To this case, I have them right here. No, 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 wait. What the hell happened to the sheriff? I guess he's not really dead. He's super strong as well. Did 
didn't see her. Could not see into bright light. Really kicked off now. He's coming. No weapon. The page said to get into the light. Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Hey, this is where I'm safe, I guess. Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Go. Okay. Go and grab my grab my gun. Okay, okay, it's finally get to shoot. creepy anyway guys that was just a look at Alan Wake 2 quite a way to start a game but that is pretty much it for me guys hopefully you've enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching